Let's get right back to my take, top of the hour. Joining us now, Congressman Carlos Covello, Republican from Florida and a member of the House Ways and Means Committee, but not. Actually, he's been rejected for membership of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. You are Hispanic, aren't you? Pretty yes. much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both, Spanish, both, both my parents were born in Cuba. I'm proud of my Hispanic roots. We have two little girls. My wife and I were raising them in the Hispanic culture. We speak Spanish to them, but yeah. apparently that's not good enough these days. Oh, well, we all know why. It's because you're a Republican. Mm. And uh, you know what? Uh, bigotry, discrimination, exclusion, I think we should condemn it no matter where it comes from on the political spectrum. Well, why right, they left, it? center. They, they, they say, you, you applied for membership, I think it was in January of this year. That's and right. now they've come out and said, look, you don't share our values. Uh, explain that one to me. Well, I think... From their perspective, if uh, you're only Hispanic, if you support a liberal agenda. Uh, and my uh, message to them was, look, we're not going to agree on every issue, but I think we should unite all of the Hispanics in Congress, figure out where we can work together. For example, we have strong agreement in the area of DREAMers, the DACA beneficiaries, the young people yes. who are brought to You've this country on this as program. children. About that. And uh, I have uh, advocated for them tirelessly. I filed the first bill this Congress to give them a path to permanent status in this country, which I believe they have already earned. So let's work together on that. And they say, no, now, we you, want you out. Do you, uh, are you in favor of sanctuary cities? I have voted to protect uh, law enforcement and those that have come to me and said, look, we need to fix sanctuary cities, but as part of comprehensive immigration reform, if we do it in isolation, it's actually going to hurt law enforcement. So I have voted mm -hmm. with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus against some of the administration's policies okay. on sanctuary cities. You also but they have members who are Democrats and have voted with the Trump administration on sanctuary cities, but they're good enough for the caucus. I'm not. You appeared on this program to support bipartisan legislation to ban gun stocks, or bump stocks, I'm sorry, mm. bump stocks was the expression. Um, I mean, you're, you, you are in favor of a measure of gun control. Stuart, I managed to upset everyone because I've been ranked the 11th most bipartisan member of the House. I really look for that middle ground on most issues, and, and gun policy is one of them. And I figure that I would be uh, a good candidate to be part of a caucus that is for Hispanic members of Congress. As I told my colleagues when I made my presentation to them yesterday, where they didn't allow me to take any questions or engage any of the members, I said, look, this is the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. As far as I'm concerned, it means that if you're in Congress and you're a Hispanic, you should be allowed to join. There's no exclusion based on some of your of your beliefs or, or the there way you now. view things, but uh, it's a very ugly message to send. Uh, it sends a message that the uh, American Hispanic community should be segregated. Uh, one group for Democrats, Republicans, independents, which, by the way, most, a lot of Hispanics, especially in Florida these days, are registering independent. They don't care for them. That's wrong. Well, it's a pleasure having you on the show, Carlos Corbello, Mr. Congressman, and we appreciate you being here. And thank you for your focus on tax reform. We need to get it done. It's the best thing we can do for every American. Yes, He's a viewer of the show. Yes. <laughs> you want to anchor on Monday or something? <laughs> <laughs> Congressman, it was a pleasure. Thank, thank you, you, Stuart. Much thank obliged. You